Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. You're watching JCTV on the Xbox One console. This is Stone Valley Console Edition, episode number 10. Welcome back to Stone Valley, folks. Alright, so we've got another busy day, but before we get to that, we are just completing this harvesting contract for this corn on uh, field number, where are we? Field number 25. We picked up a contract just because... Uh, there's nothing to do at the time, but now that the contract is almost finished, there's lots to do. We have got to fertilize our rye that we planted in the central field there beside the farm. And we've got to replant field number one. Field number one, field number eight. The, the, the southern field, that's the one. The one in the south. We've got to replant that with something. And we're going to make that decision later on. I don't think the grass is ready to be mowed yet, but we're going to skip the grass for this episode anyway. We're just going to focus on completing this contract. And then we are going to... What did I just say? I'm drawing a blank. Yeah, we're going to reseed the southern field and then fertilize the central field. That's right. we got rye growing beside the farm. We're going to fertilize that. And then we're going to reseed. All right, so let's just finish this. Let's dump the rest of this corn back in here. We'll leave the harvester. Actually, we'll bring it back. Um, the southern farm is close by, so we'll just drive this back over here, put the harvester in the shed. And then uh, we'll come back and grab the corn. Where am I going? Is it this way? Yeah, I think it's this way. Yeah, it's right there, straight ahead. Okay, perfect. Let's go put the harvester back. Now, we haven't really done a lot of contracts. Um, I'm not really sure the reason why. I think maybe it's because we've been so busy with our actual farm that we haven't had time to do contracts. But now we want to start scouting out uh, some new uh, fields that we may or may not be able to purchase. Now that we've got a little bit of bank account uh, built up and the silage business is going well, we've got lots of crops in the silo if we need to sell them for any reason at all. So we've got a nice little comfortable cushion happening here. And we fit. There we go. And uh, I think it's time to start expanding into some new fields. But I don't want to buy a field that's so big it's going to take forever and a day to uh, seed and harvest and fertilize and all that other stuff. So I think we're just going to go with a medium to small field for now. But we, uh, we need to start scouting out um, how long these fields take to work. So that's what I use contract work for. So you can time yourself and how long it takes you to do a contract. And then you'll know once you buy that field how long it's going to take you to do the work on that field and then you can you know write that down use spreadsheets or whatever you can use all that data to fit it into your schedule so that way do you have enough time to work this field or buy this field do you have enough time in your busy day to do what needs to be done so it's always good to pre-plan before you actually make these purchases um, otherwise you'll just end up selling the land back to the game and then you'll be no further ahead and you can't really expand anything. So we're gonna do things that way. So right now we're just making our way to the western cell point. That's where the corn contract needs to be completed. So that's just up at the top of the map to the left hand side and we will get that done and then we'll start working on our own fields. You can see our field here. Field number one is the southern field, that's right. We have to replant or reseed something there. So we'll figure that out later. But for now, let's just drop the corn off at the western cell point. And of course, while we're driving up to the western cell point, folks, if you have not done so already, hit that subscribe button for me in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Drop a like on the video and ring that notification bell so you can be alerted every time we upload new content. You don't want to miss anything, folks. Then come follow us on all of our social media campaigns. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, Discord, Patreon. Uh, there's a PayPal link there if you'd like to uh, send a donation. Remember, folks, donations are never expected, but of course, always appreciated. There's also a link there from Sprizzy.com. If you'd like to grow your own YouTube channel, check out what Sprizzy can do for you. All of those links can be found in the description of the video down below. Go and have a look at those right now. And then, of course, don't forget about our Farmer of the Week contest. You can enter into... Uh, a chance to win uh, weekly shout outs so what we're doing is anyone who comments hashtag farmer of the week on any video Monday through Friday will be entered into a draw to win a chance for 
five video shout-outs. That's one shout-out per video, Monday to Friday. You guessed it, we are helping out people. People helping people. It's a beautiful thing. So, if you've got a YouTube channel and you'd like uh, a shout-out, then hey, go to the comment section. Comment hashtag Farmer of the Week and you will be automatically entered into a draw um, to win weekly video shout-outs. And we're going to do that every week. Uh, we've had one winner so far. I think it was the uh, Gaming Guitar Guy last week. We didn't have one this week because nobody commented Farmer of the Week. Maybe I'm putting this too far into the video and you guys are clicking off after the first three or four minutes. I don't know. Either way, if you do happen to hear this message and you want some help growing your YouTube channel, leave a comment down below. Hashtag Farmer of the Week and you'll be automatically entered into five video shoutouts. Okay, now the contract is all done on field number 25. We've just collected a little bit of extra crop money. Let's go complete the contract, collect our fee, and then we'll head on back to the farm. And we'll start working on our own stuff. So field number 25 um, off camera took roughly just under an hour to harvest at six miles an hour. So we'll make note of that. So if we do end up buying field 25, uh, anything that goes six miles an hour will take just about an hour to do. Um, unless it's the fertilizer sprayer, which has a wider span than the harvester, obviously. But we'll uh, make note of all of the time that it takes to work that field from start to finish. So that way we can fit it into our already busy schedule. Maybe uh, so we don't have to hire workers and things like that. But at the end of the day, if we do have to hire a worker to do the job, then that's what we'll do. Um, it is time to expand the farm. We are doing the same thing every day so we need some more crops we need some more things to do I kind of want to stray away from animals at this point I don't want to do animals right now uh, maybe a little bit later we will see how things go but for now I think we're just gonna focus on purchasing some new fields but we do have to save up some money um, I don't want to buy a field and then leave zero dollars in the bank account and then have to go back to the bank because that would uh, be conducive to our plan so we're not going to do that all right here's the farm we're back home let's park the truck and i think we're going to grab the fertilizer sprayer first and we're going to take care of this rye issue right here in front of us to get lots of rye in the ground um rye if you've never uh, planted rye before um it is somewhat high in yield you do get a lot of rye you also get a lot of straw on the ground so we should get quite a few straw bales once this is ready to harvest and then of course we can sell those as well all right let's go find the fertilizer sprayer haven't used this in a while uh do, 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 do. oh Wait a minute, this is not the fertilizer sprayer. Well, that's right. We have a fertilizing truck. We don't need to pull it. For some reason, I thought it was a trailer. Nope. It's the Amaze One machine, or it's Stara. It's the Stara Imperador. That's what we're going to be driving. All right, let's get this done. I think, should we fill it up? Is there enough in there? Hmm. Well, let's make our way out to the field and we'll check this out. Now, you know what? I think uh, I think this field was the last time we used this fertilizer sprayer and it's at, what, 74%? So it really only used 26% capacity. So I think we should be good to uh, just spray again without filling it up. We'll try that out. All right, we're going to unfold and start the fertilizing process. Uh, enjoy the time-lapse music and we will check back with you as soon as the fertilizing is done. Thank you. 
Alrighty, folks, that didn't take very long at all. Fertilizing, fertilizing, blah, blah, blah. fertilizing is now complete on field number eight. Alright, so let's put this back. We'll grab the cedar and then we are going to reseed the southern field, field number one. And I haven't quite figured out what we're going to plant there yet. I'm not sure if we're just going to redo canola or do another crop type I'm thinking canola was pretty good to us uh, last time maybe we want to stick with that I'm not sure uh, we'll figure that out when we get down there let's jump in the case tractor we'll grab the cedar fill it up and then we'll head on down to the southern field field number one numero uno and we'll figure out what to plant there okay cedar cedar where's the cedar it's always right here all right let's grab the cedar we'll fill it up We'll head on down south. There we go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we planted rye last time. That used a lot of seed for that field. I think field number one is bigger than field number eight. So I'm not really sure if we're going to need to refill this. Or maybe uh, because rye is such a high yield crop, maybe it uses more seed. Who knows? Canola is sort of like a medium yield. Um, you get quite a bit, but not as much as you would rye or barley or oats. Alright, let's grab some fertilizer and then we'll be out the door and on our way. Now folks, we are also going to fast farm uh, when we get down to field number one, the southern field. Um, if you don't know how to fast farm, we're going to give you a quick tutorial. And what that means, fast farming, is that you can actually seed and plow and cultivate and do different things at the normal tractor speed not at the operating speed it's a small glitch in the game it's kind of considered cheating but you know for the interest of uh, this video and saving time uh, this is not my field no we're not going to play here I always make that mistake I always turn onto this field first and then think that that's my field but it's not it's over here um, yeah so fast farming technically considered cheating it's a small glitch in the game so what you want to do is first we're going to decide on a crop type obviously i think we're going to go with just the standard canola so let's just do this let's get the canola chosen here we'll give you a quick fast farming tutorial if you don't know how to do this already it's pretty handy if you're looking at saving some time so what you want to do is lower the cedar turn the cedar on and then before you start driving, you're going to double tap the fold unfold button. Kind of not really fast, but just click click type of thing. So you're going to lower the cedar, turn it on, and you're going to double tap the fold button. Uh, you should see the cedar twitch a little bit and then just start driving to see if it goes faster than six or eight miles an hour, whatever the operating speed is for the piece of equipment you're pulling. And you'll see here that we are actually seeding this field at high speeds. So this tractor has a speed of 32 miles an hour and we're currently seeding the field at 21 miles per hour. The normal operating speed for this piece of equipment is, uh, well the seeder is uh, I think 8 miles an hour it seeds at. So we are doing 3 times as fast. So. Yeah, there you go. Fast farming on console works on Xbox and PS4. And it works on almost every piece of equipment that you have to unfold, lower, and then refold to put away again. Um, it doesn't work on every piece of equipment, so you'll have to mix and match and see which ones work and which ones don't. I don't have a complete list of which ones don't, but I'm pretty sure somebody does. 
um, but test it out first you know just to see if you can fast farm with that particular piece of equipment um, it does come in pretty handy when you're trying to get things done in a reasonable time frame all right so we are just going to seed the rest of this field um, I'm not going to make you sit through another time lapse thing we're just going to use the magic of JCTV and skip ahead to the end of the seeding process all right folks that did not take very long at all the seeding is now completed on field number one the southern field we can now put everything back where it needs to go I think first we're gonna wash this cedar tractor it did uh, take quite a bit of a beating there fast farming or seeding this field at 24 miles an hour all right let's put this back and that is gonna wrap things up today folks there's not much else we can do here today so we're going to let the fertilizer set in we're gonna let the seeds germinate and we'll pick this up again next week and don't forget if you have not done so already hit that subscribe button for me folks you know you want to just click it do it do it now click it click it do it now all right and then drop a like on the video ring that notification bell so you can be alerted every time we upload new content you don't want to miss anything folks we are changing things up every so often we are doing a different map each day of the week so come by monday through friday check us out watch all of the videos leave comments don't forget about our farmer of the week contest win your chance to get five weekly video shout outs all you have to do is comment hashtag farmer of the week at the bottom of the video in the comment section and then you will automatically be entered into five weekly video shout outs thanks for tuning in folks this was stone of valley console edition episode number 10 played on the xbox one console you're watching farming simulator 19 my name is jctv and this is me saying see you later